Hey guys, this is Steve at Tronics Fix. Today we've got this PS4 here that doesn't read discs. It seems like the discs don't go in all the way and kind of get stuck and it's just kind of funky. So what we're gonna do is take it apart. I think I probably already know what the problem is, but let's take this thing apart and see exactly what it is and I can show you guys how you might be able to fix yours. Okay, so the tools we're gonna be using, a needle nose pliers, a Phillips number two, a T8 Security Torx, a Phillips number one, and also just a sharp pick to get the stickers off on the back if needed. I'll also be using some electric screwdrivers because this uh, gets kind of boring to me if I'm just using the regular screwdrivers. So to make it a little bit faster, in the interest of making a shorter video, I'm going to go ahead and use electric screwdrivers for this. So, not really sure why I'm taking this top cover off. In fact, I'm not going to because I don't need to. First thing you need to do is take this, this screw, this screw, and this screw off. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to use our pick to get the stickers off. Like this one. I just get the pick in there enough to get under it and then just pull it off like that. And then these screws come off. There's three of them under there. Three black Torx T8 security screws. And then this rear case, bottom case, pull up on there. Get your fingers underneath right here and pull up like that. That pulls off like that. So this is what we need to get to, the disk drive. In order to do that, we do not need to take out the power supply. It's ready to go right now. So what we need to do is remove this ribbon cable. There's another connector under that. Then this screw, this screw, this Phillips screw, and this one. And then we'll be able to pull the unit out. So the first thing we gotta do is get this ribbon cable out. You're gonna notice a metal piece behind the white connector. You need to push down on that. And then you're gonna wanna wiggle the cable back and forth and pull it out like that. Uh, we've seen a lot of these that have these ears broken off because people try and just yank them out. And what that's going to do is that's going to cause the ears to get stuck in this connector. And then one of the only ways, usually the only way to, to um, get this cable plugged back in is to replace this connector, which we can do. We've done a lot of them, but it's a pain and it would cost you some money. So we want to avoid that. Then the next um, cable is this... Uh, four wire connector right here. I just grabbed onto this black piece right here with my needle nose pliers. Just give it a pull back. There's nothing holding it on. It just pulls right back. And then you can see under there the screw. That is a T8 security screw. So we're going to go ahead and take that off next. And then the next T8 security screw over here. Now this one right here is holding the Wi-Fi antenna on here. If you ever need to replace the Wi-Fi antenna, you do have to take the power supply out and then you take this screw out and then it's just routed through some some uh, slots and pins through here and then you so you just disconnect it and then replace it. It's pretty easy to do. So that's the next one we'll take out is the one above the Wi-Fi antenna and then we're going to deroute it from this slot right here the cable is. So we got that off. We we'll put that out of our way. And another, the last security Torx. Now, don't forget about this Phillips right here. That's one that's easy to forget about. So we're gonna go ahead and take that out next. And now what you're gonna see is this thing's just gonna pop right out, just like that. So I'll put the con set the console aside. Now we're gonna be taking a look at this. Um, what we wanna do is flip it over on the bottom and you'll be able to see Right in here, there's not a roller there. There's a roller down here and there should be a roller right there, but it's not there. So that's the problem with this one. What we're gonna do is remove this screw. There's a screw back here. There's a screw right up there. We're gonna remove those three screws and then this is gonna slide off. This is where you use the Phillips double zero is on those three screws. So we're just gonna pop those off like that. 
Okay, so I'm going to show you how to pull this off. Basically, there's a kind of a locator um, right here. So that's what you got to make sure is lined up when you put it back together. But to get it off, it's going to pull up like that, and then this will just pull right off. Now you can see the problem already. We got this roller here, and then this roller here is just sitting there. So the next thing we got to do is figure out where the white connector piece is. This roller goes right here, but there's a white connector that has to go there to keep them connected. Uh, this gear right here drives this roller. So this roller is the driven roller, is the drive roller, this is the driven one. So we got to find that white piece. And usually what we do is move it around like this and we can find it. Uh, this one, however, is, I'm going to see if you can get a view of this. This one is stuck right under there. You can kind of see a little bit of a view of it. So in that case, we're going to move that in a little bit, try and get that thing moved around enough to get it out. Okay, that's not coming out. So what we're going to do is grab our screwdriver over here. Okay, so what we're going to do is grab a slotted screwdriver and I'm going to take this right here and pry up on that. Now there's a little locator pin right there that just sticks in the side of this case and that's what keeps that part in there. So with that off you can hear that loosened up the white piece. Let's see if we can find it now. It's, this one's sure hiding in there. And grab it with this. Okay. Now you can see I just pulled it out right there. Let's see if we can get a good view of this here. There we go. That's what the white piece looks like. So we're going to set that aside. So I'm actually going to remove this other roller too because what I want to do is clean these rollers. So these just uh, push in there. They just push in right here and right here. So they just snap in place. So what I'm going to want to do now is these rollers tend to get dirty and these ones actually are not in very good shape. They're nicked and cut, but um, I don't have any replacements at the moment, so I'm not going to put new ones on there. But what I'm going to do is get a Q-tip with some alcohol on it, some rubbing alcohol. I use isopropyl alcohol, some 99%. What we're going to do is just clean this off really good because these rollers, they should actually be almost a little bit sticky because these are what what uh, pull the disc in. So that one's pretty clean, so I'm gonna set that one aside and get a little more and clean this one. So we just go back and forth on this, clean it with that, and then we dry it with the other side. Okay, so that we're gonna consider clean. So now that we messed with the pin on the uh, roller carrier, I don't know what it's called, we got to make sure and get this back in there where it was. So we just got to push it in where the locating pin is, which it's in there now. You can see that, there we go. This thing moves how it should now, as does this one. So what we got to do next is get these rollers in there how they need to go. And this one, the gear kind of became misaligned, but that's okay. That's easy to fix. So what you got to make sure with these is you got to make sure that it goes all the way on there. So what I'm going to do is put it on there and you can see that the roller isn't quite in all the way where it should go. So you guys just got to turn it until you feel it slide in there and it's going to fit in there nicely. So then we just push it in there till it snaps into place. So that roller is all in there how it should be. And then we do the same thing with this white piece. You push it in there and move it around until it snaps all the way in. And then what we do is we line up the next roller and you can see it doesn't, it's not on there right now. So we got to twist it until it goes in. And then you line up this back piece with the hole right there. And then we take it over here, snap it in place. So that's what your roller should look like right there. They should be both in there connected by this connecting rod. 
and they move up and down, they're ready to go. So that problem's fixed. So what we gotta do now is put this top piece back on. I like to take a good look at the top piece and make sure there's nothing that looks funny. We gotta make sure these slide well. Everything, look, everything looks good from there. Same thing on the other side. Everything looks good from there. I don't see any problems. So, then we take this. What we're gonna do is line this side up first. You can see that corner there. This corner right here needs to line up. Um, there's a kind of a, a black locating tab and this white piece has to go under that tab. Once it's under there, the rest of it will just snap on and it's ready for the screws to go back in. So that's what we do next. We'll just take each one of these with our Phillips double zero. And we're gonna put these screws back on, back in. Okay, so that's done. Let's get our console back over here. Now, you gotta make sure this metal piece right here needs to go on the outside of this metal carrier on the motherboard. Not really a carrier, but a piece of the plastic case. Um, it's gonna be hard to see. This piece right here, you can see there's a little space in between this piece and the power supply. That's where that metal piece goes. And the same with the piece it goes right here. There's another metal piece on the optical drive. So we're gonna carefully make sure those are in the correct place on the outside of that plastic piece. And we're just gonna take it, snap it in. Now there's gonna be several things here. There's a locating pin here and a locating pin here. And then also one over here. So once those locating pins are all matched up, it's just gonna snap right in place. Um, if those are not lined up, then it's not gonna snap in place. So if it's not snapping in place, you gotta make sure and check that. So now we're gonna put the screw in that goes under these cables right here. I've forgotten to do this many times, so that's the first one I put in after I get an optical drive repaired. So that's going in, then we take our needle nose pliers, grab that connector, grab the wires right behind the connector. Now you can't do this hard, you can't grab the wires hard, you gotta be very gentle or else you're gonna, you're gonna break through the wires. Now we're gonna put this Wi-Fi antenna back on here. Now for putting the disk drive cable in, you just line it up and go till it snaps. So that snapped in. Now we've got the Wi-Fi antenna here and we put it back in the slot, the cable back in the slot right there. So now we're gonna go ahead, put the T8 screw back in there. The other T8 screw. And one more over in the corner right here. Okay, now we also have to remember to not forget the Phillips screw that goes right here. That's the last screw for this. Oh, and I dropped it. Magnetic screwdrivers are great for this sort of thing. Okay, now we got the disk drive all in. It all looks good, exactly how it was when it came out. All the cables are in, uh, the Wi-Fi cable's in, all the screws are in. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and snap the rear case back on. Now we wanna make sure and line up the back, the back of the case with the back of the console first. Feel it go in there and then we just push down and we got it on. So now we wanna put these two screws back on that you wouldn't have to do, except for I forgot to, I forgot and I took them off before I took the console apart. I'm gonna snap our hard drive cover in place. I'm gonna turn it over. We're gonna put the other four screws back in, four black screws. There's one. Two, 
three and four. Okay, and then the black stickers, if you want those on, you can put those back on. I like to keep them on if I can. And we're done. Okay guys, thanks for watching my video on how to fix an optical drive that won't play discs. Now keep in mind, there could be other problems as well, or it could be a problem with the laser or a connector or something like that. Um, th this isn't a guarantee that this problem will fix yours, but um, one of the ways that you can usually tell is if you take your console and you flip it up like this, if you hear something rolling around in there, a lot of times it's that little white piece in there. So keep in mind that, that this, this fix may not fix your specific problem, but it'll fix a lot of them if it doesn't play the disc um, and it doesn't need a laser. Um, so usually the two things are a laser replacement or it needs those rollers or the white uh, connector bar replaced. Um, if you have questions or if you want to send it in for repairs, we're happy to do that here. Um, you can also just chat on our website. Uh, you can text us, you can call us, you can ask questions below um, in the comments and we will respond to any of those. So thanks for watching and have a great day.